Now, we have talked about processors and memory and the possibilities hidden deep within our devices. Equally important are the components which we see and touch every day. I'm talking, of course, about displays. Display technology determines how we experience and interact with our mobile device world. The display is where advancements become more tangible, where we see, touch, and experience possibility. Here to tell us more about the big steps we are taking in display, please welcome my Samsung colleague, Brian Berkeley. Thanks, Stephen. It's great to be here. I want to talk a little bit about the trends we've been seeing in the display industry. Just like processors, displays have been involved in an intense competition. In this case, a pixel war. On screen, you can see how rapidly the quality and resolution of LCDs has been increasing. It's a trend that has swept across the entire industry, from the smallest mobile devices to larger displays. But if I had to pick one area, where LCD advances have captured the hearts and minds of consumers, it would have to be tablets. And Samsung is leading the way. Our 10.1 inch LCD for tablets is currently available on Google's Nexus 10. And it provides unsurpassed image quality. It offers the world's highest resolution tablet display. With a resolution of 2560 by 1600, our screen puts over 4 million pixels in the user's hands. That's about one million more pixels than was previously available. It creates crisper text, more vibrant HD movies, and crystal clear photos that come to life in breathtaking detail. That photo looks incredible, stunning the beautiful. And that's the highest pixel density ever seen in a tablet, right? That's exactly right, 300 pixels per inch. Wow, that's great. And you can expect it to get even better in the near future. We're currently developing a new 10.1 inch LCD that consumes 25% less power. This kind of innovation is critical to mobilizing the possibility of better displays for better mobile devices. And as I mentioned, this trend toward higher resolution is rapidly spreading to larger displays. These advances will establish new benchmarks in LCD performance for notebook PCs as well. Now, everyone is probably wondering what this will do to their battery life. Just as you saw with our latest Exynos processor, Samsung component innovation delivers advanced display performance while actually lowering power consumption. We are implementing a new pixel structure that will allow us to deliver even better image quality and even better battery life. We are calling it Green LCD. At Samsung, we are equally excited about the possibility of mobilizing, uh, mobilizing the possibilities of OLED display technologies. When it comes to displays, OLEDs deliver the ultimate screen experience with more vivid colors, much deeper blacks than any other displays. They're super thin and lightweight. Because OLEDs produce their own light, they don't require a thick, heavy, power-consuming backlight. And now, thanks to Samsung technology, they can be flexible as well. We're so confident about the market potential of flexible OLEDs, we're creating an entire new line of them under the Yume brand name. Yume doesn't just bend the rules of display technologies, it completely rewrites them. Take a look at this flexible OLED prototype. Our team was able to make a high resolution display on extremely thin plastic so instead of glass, so it won't break even if it's dropped, and we can actually bend the screen. Imagine the products you could design with this. That's amazing. It really is. I brought something else here today. Have a look at this bended Yume prototype device. 
Do you see how the screen curves beyond, beyond the edge of the display around here? <clears throat> With this bended display, we have expanded the canvas available for content. Content can now flow along the sides of the device. So, for example, if I receive an important message, I can see it come through while the device is flat on the table in front of me. This new form factor will really begin to change how people interact with their devices and opening up new lifestyle possibilities. And it's only going to get better. This kind of display technology is going to allow our partners to create a whole new ecosystem of devices, devices with bended, foldable, and rollable screens. That's a very exciting, Brian. Now, let's uh, take a look at how this new display future might play out. Hey, big dog. What up, what up? <laughs> hey, what's up with you and Carla? Has she left you yet? <laughs> oh, she did. Hello? Hello? <coughs> Look at my tablet. Technology is my thing. Whoa, I need to get going. Mm. Wow, that's amazing. Oh. Can I see that? Yeah, sure. Wow. All in a day's work for Samsung. <laughs> awesome. Hey, you should join me for coffee sometime. It's my card. Cool. Hey, uh, for handing out business cards. Bye. Bye. Ugh, thought he'd never leave. Not so long ago, this shape-shifting display seemed out of reach. But now, there's, that is no longer the case. Brian, thank you for your time today. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. <clears throat> we have just talked about three key areas of component innovation. Processing, memory, and display. But what happens when you put all these state-of-the-art components together? We are working with our partners to add their value on top of those components. One such partner is Microsoft. Here to tell us more about how they are using Samsung's components to extend their solutions is Microsoft's Chief Technical Strategy Officer, Eric Roder. Thank you, Stephen. Well, 2012 was a busy and exciting year for Microsoft. We had an amazing launch of new products as we continued our transformation from a software company to a devices and services company. We've been incredibly focused on the user experience from end to end, from the data center where your information is stored and secured to the modern UI applications that are always up to date. And our journey has really made us appreciate partners like Samsung, who enable us to deliver our vision across a full spectrum of devices and services. Great experiences like Outlook, SkyDrive, and Xbox Music demand great devices. 
And Samsung's new AT family of devices truly highlights the modern UI of Windows. In fact, Samsung was the first company to cover all of the major form factors for this wave of Windows, from the phone to the desktop, which was a fantastic achievement. Beyond Windows tablets, PCs, and phones, we've also worked together to bring Skype to Samsung smart TVs so people can have a great communications experience from the comfort of their living rooms. We sometimes take for granted that every new device will have better graphics and better battery life than the previous generation. However, the reality is that it takes careful coordination across the entire supply chain in order to make this happen. In the case of Microsoft Surface, Samsung is one of our strategic compliers for components. The result of this cooperation is a Windows 8 device with great battery life and a vibrant display. So you can see more, do more, and share more with the Surface. We have a long history of working with Samsung to push the limits of display technology. You can see this clearly in the massive Microsoft multi-touch display that took center stage when we launched Windows 8 and the new version of Office. After today's announcements, it should be clear that there is no rule that says displays or computers need to be flat, opaque, or rigid. Just look at the Yume screen we just saw. We actually have a prototype of Windows Phone and how it would look on one of these screens. And Microsoft's vision is that sensors like Kinect, combined with flexible, transparent, and projected displays, will bring us to a point where any object can be a surface and can be a computer. I'd like to close with a short video from Microsoft Research, which extends interactivity to every surface in your living room. Last year, you may have seen some videos with pre-computed projections. What we're demoing today is both real-time and fully interactive. And while you may find it hard to believe, the footage shown here is exactly what appeared in our lab without any special effects being added. Some companies talk about a reality distortion field. We've actually built one. Xbox, go big. This is just a glimpse of what our future may hold in store for us. We're excited that this technology can be used in many different ways to enhance a TV or movie experience, or increase the reality of a flight simulator, or make educational scenarios more exciting. We look forward to our continued partnership with Samsung to deliver the next generation of devices and services. Thank you. Exciting to work with Microsoft and to be pushing boundaries together. Thank you, Eric. Thank, Thank you. you.